am Jan Lover and curator of clothing and textiles at the Nevada State Museum. Welcome to Curator's Corner. For this segment, I am featuring the museum's Fortuny gown. This is a magnificent designer dress um, that is absolutely sensational. They are very rare and very collectible. This particular gown was donated in 1994 by Mrs. Elizabeth Riker and her daughter. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of this dress a little later in my, this program. But right now I wanted to introduce the idea of who is Mariano Fortuny. Fortuny was born in Spain, but he lived and worked in Venice. He was an interesting man, very creative. He was a chemist, an artist, an etcher, um, an inventor, and he was a dress designer. And so he designed this garment. As you look at this, this dress is over 100 years old. And if I take these magnificent pleats, you can see how pliable these pleats are on this beautiful silk fabric. According to one author, and I have not verified this, but this author indicated that there are between 430 and 450 minuscule pleats on each panel of the fabric. I have counted how many panels there are, and there are five panels creating this garment. That's a lot of pleats. Fortuny invented the technique to creating these pleats using heat and chemicals. And in fact, he patented the, the process for doing that as well as the garment itself. Fortuny was influenced by the aesthetic movement. This was a movement in the early 20th century that rejected the ornamentation and restrictiveness of the Victorian era. So as he looked for inspiration in designing this dress, he actually looked to the Greeks and Romans and their long ketons and tunics, and that's how he came up with this design. He actually named this garment the Delphos garment after the Greek charioteer. When this dress first debuted in the 19-teens, it was considered somewhat scandalous and risque. As it, you can see that it clings to the figure and it was worn without a woman's corset. Women's fashions at this time were very different than this and featured a full bodice, a high neck, and sweeping skirts. So as I mentioned, this dress was quite scandalous when it first came out and for the most part was worn inside the home. It was not worn out in public until a decade or so later when actresses Ruth St. Dennis and Isadora, and dancers Isadora Duncan started wearing them publicly. Then they became more acceptable. This dress was under production from 1909 when it was patented to 1949 when Fortuny died. So the question is, how did our donor, Mrs. Riker, acquire this dress? Well, at first she thought it belonged to someone in her family. And then she went, no, no, I remember now. There was a woman in Reno named Ludovica Graham, who was a wealthy socialite from New York, who came to Reno for a divorce. When Ludovica Graham passed away, she left all of her personal belongings to a longtime friend. This friend, when she would run out of money, would ask her girlfriends in for coffee and sell off Ludovica Graham's personal belongings. Mrs. Riker purchased this Fortuny dress for a song and a dance. So thank you for joining us for Curator's Corner today. I hope you enjoyed our magnificent Fortuny gown, and I hope you stay tuned for more episodes. Mm -hmm.